Well, I, I think we had a good fall segment. I thought our guys did a really good job uh, with their effort. You know, anytime that you come off of a of a championship season, you always worry about a letdown and complacency and things of that sort that can set in. But I didn't really sense that a lot throughout the majority of the fall. They they did a really good job showing up every day, giving a good effort, and and uh, we have a pretty focused group right now. I think it's going to be interesting. You know, I think one of the biggest differences was. Even though we felt like we could have a, a, a competitive team last year, I think there was still a lot of wait and see, you know, and, and still not quite a true belief that we were going to be what we ultimately became. And I think the difference is with this team is after having some success, um, I think they, they obviously have a different belief and, and they, they have confidence that we can again be competitive in our league. and and um, they're looking forward to that challenge for sure. So that's probably the biggest difference. Even as I've talked to the players, that's what they've expressed is just a different feel in the locker room that, hey, we can do this. You know, and a lot of that obviously comes from their experiences last year. Yeah, we return a lot of guys. Um, you know, we've added some new pieces as well, but you know, first and foremost, obviously Jake Miller will be back and, and Jake did a tremendous job in our, in our Friday role after we inserted him into that and, and pitched exceptionally well in the, in the conference tournament. Um, uh, Connor Sitz will be back, uh, and Jerry Salisbury, who actually missed last year because of injury, um, will also be returning. Uh, and he's very healthy, and he's looked very good this fall. And then Jake Rudnicki has also looked very good this fall. So we've we've definitely got some good options as potential starters. And as far as the bullpen goes, you know, Tom Coletti will be back, um, which there's a possibility that he might even start and do some things for us. Um, and we've added some, some quality pieces too with some, some new guys like Michael Klein and Brian Sheeman and you know Logan Jasek's backs with us to name a few. I mean we've, we've got some good options down there. Well right now you know we've got two players that have been working at a shortstop most of the time. Tyler Finkler um, who's been in the program now going on his third year and then Mateus Vacuda who is a junior college transfer. So those two guys have been working out predominantly as shortstop and, uh, and then obviously Ty Black and Connor Callery um, we have over at second base. So we, we feel very good about our middle infield depth. We've got some quality guys out there that I think will be able to do a good job for us. Well, you know, I mean, obviously, everybody knew he was a good player coming in last year. You know, he had a really good freshman year, but there were some of the teams that didn't see him because of his injury that he had his freshman year. So I think that the challenge is going to be for him just to stay patient, um, understand that teams are going to, you know, maybe pitch around him at times and just not put too much pressure on himself. You know, he just has to go out and, 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 and play hard and help his team however he can. He doesn't have to be the player of the year again. He doesn't have to live up to some particular expectation. You know, he's just got to play hard and, and do the best that he can. And I think if he does that, he's got enough guys around him in the lineup that'll, that'll help in that process. He's, he doesn't have to be the only piece to our offense. Um, and as long as he keeps his, his, his mind right in that regards, I think he'll have success again. Well, from a from a pitching standpoint, you know, I think we like we talked about before, Jerry Salisbury is a guy that, you know, like you said, he was out all of last year and, and so they won't really know much about him. Um, his freshman year before he got injured, he didn't really pitch in many conference games. So he'll be a new face that uh, people will have to figure out. And um, I think another player is going to be Tony Giannini. Uh, Tony played uh, sparingly for us last year, incredibly hard worker and uh, has really, really settled in, I think, uh, and gotten comfortable with what he's doing. And I think he's a guy that's going to make an impact for us as well. Yeah, I, uh, we have a freshman, Rudy Rote, um, who's proven himself to be a, a Division One hitter for sure. Um, he's competing at first base right now and had a great fall and showed a lot of maturity in his approach at the plate and, and just how he handles at bats and his process. and. Um, so I think he's going to be a guy that uh, if he can get some confidence early and get off to a good start, I think he's going to be a, a young player that will be able to contribute for us sooner than later. Well, right now we're involved in off-season conditioning and weights. We're doing individual skill training. Um, you know, a lot of our pitchers are going through a velocity camp where we're trying to build arm strength and, and do some different things like that. So we're just trying to fine-tune some skills, um, in some cases get some guys healthy. We had a few guys come out of the fall a little banged up. so we're. We're getting everybody back to, to help that way and, and just trying to really maintain some positive momentum as we head into the off season for Christmas break. And then once we get back, obviously we have to kick it up and, and start preparing ourselves for those preseason workouts and, and then obviously that opening weekend at Asheville. So we're trying to give give our conditioning days themes and competition Tuesday or basically we break our guys into different teams and, and the conditioning that we do is centered around one of our, our main themes of our program and that's competition. 
and so we, we, we take them and, and they, they compete for different things that you know we put on the line and um, it, it's just a nice way to, to mix up conditioning and, and it puts them more in a competitive mode and, and uh, really kind of develops that skill and then on Thursdays we have teamwork Thursdays and so our conditioning sessions are really centered around guys trying to push each other and help each other and and, uh, and, and really kind of work through the different parts of the workouts that we have. So all very much team bonding things and our guys have responded very, very well to it. I, I like when I see our guys compete. Um, that's a big part of, of athletics is the competitive side of it. And, and uh, you know, Tuesdays we certainly were able to bring that out. It's been great, you know, that has been something that's been important to me to bridge that gap. Um, and, you know, I can't, I can't thank Coach Jerry France enough. He's been great in that process to us and all the alumni really that have, that have reached out and, and we had that alumni uh, uh, weekend that he had a big reunion of many of the guys that he played with and that played for him while he was the coach um, and we were able to mix those guys with our current team and uh, it was a great experience for everybody. I know they had, a, they had a great time talking with our players and our kids really I think enjoyed and embraced uh, some of the history you know I think they, they felt that sense of being some, a part of something bigger than just our current team right now or, or, or our particular two or three years that they'll be here so from that standpoint it was great they were at the ring ceremony they got to share in that and, and for me that was really really important because you know our success last year wasn't just about our particular team but it's about really the program in general and I hope that everybody that has played here can take some pride in and, and what we accomplished last year and, and you know because we weren't uh, we weren't making any kind of history we were just adding to the history of the program in that regards and we hope to continue to add to the tradition that's been set here well before any of us were were here at Ohio. We're just really excited you know about about the season we're excited to to get going and, and I know it's going to be a tough you know competition in our conference there's some really good teams uh, that uh, that are poised to, to make a run themselves so we're just we're looking forward to to get back in the mix be competitive again and and I'm um, excited about a, a good 2016 season.